So ace attack AIOs are basically fire and forget solutions, but only basically. Um, you need to always make sure that you maintain your loop. It's not as complicated as it is in a custom loop where you'll have to change the liquids and remount things and, you know, buckets of liquid, all sorts of nasty things. With an ace attack AIO, the loop is sealed. And that means that you can basically never worry about the liquid. What you should make sure that you do every once in a while though, is that you take the radiator, which is the one that's placed over here, and you remove the side panel and clean it. So what'll happen over time is that dust will accumulate on your fans. So these guys, but also on your radiator. And what you can do is you can blow compressed air through it and that'll take all the dust away. You might be thinking, why, why would I want to remove the dust? It's just dust, right? What happens is that you reduce the heat conductivity in the radiator, and thus you get lesser performance on your CPU cooling. Another thing that you can do every once in a while is that you can take off the block and pump uh, combo here, and then replace the thermal paste that is below it. Thermal paste makes sure that you get a good heat dissipation from your CPU, into your liquid. If that stays for four, five, six years, it'll completely dry up and thus have a lower conductivity than what you'd want it to. So if you notice your, your CPU thermals degrade over time, make sure that you look at, first of all, the radiator and the fans, make sure that there's no dust in there. The next thing is if you still have issues with high temperatures or higher than you'd expect, then you unmount your CPU block, take a look at the thermal paste. If it's completely dried out, then you want to replace it. So you just wipe it off with an alcohol wipe and then you put new thermal paste on there.